you know, a lot of new age thinking is very much from the intervention. The idea that everything happens for a purpose, where did that come from? That everything that happens to you happens for a purpose, that's what's called pacification. That's not education. That makes you open to everything. Oh, whatever happens, I'll be open to that. I'll be open to this. I'll be open to that. I'll be open to intervention. Great. It's here for a purpose. It must be happening for a purpose. Everything in life happens for my purpose, for my well-being. No sensible person would ever think like that. And no person's ever been out in the world and done anything would ever think like that. But many people think like that. So that makes them an easy target of the intervention itself. And just our religious aspirations of bliss and peace and equanimity. I mean, whatever happened to service and contribution, right? And giving and personal sacrifice and whatever happened to the core eternal values of religion, they've been, trans they've been displaced by the search for personal desire and equanimity and peace and happiness. That's strange. That takes people out of life. The very people who could be sensitive enough to discern the presence of the intervention, who could be free enough culturally to face it and oppose it are the first ones to be turned. They become easy targets for this kind of persuasion. Give them everything, we're promised them, every, they're not giving them anything, promise them everything they want that they can't get here on earth and they will become your advocates and your supporters. This is real, this is happening. I'm one of the few, maybe the only spiritual teacher in the world who's speaking out against the intervention. There are other people speaking out against it, but their numbers are very small. Why is that? What is it that makes us so easy to convince by forces we don't even understand, for whom we have no real relationship with? It's a question. And the answer to that question is the powerful knowledge that lives within us. A part of us that cannot be mis deceived or manipulated. Because people feel weak and small, they keep wanting to follow something. And if they're persuaded that their leaders are corrupt, their institutions are corrupt, then they'll seek leaders and institutions elsewhere in the universe. We create a vacuum, it gets filled by the intervention.